Hi family, how's everybody doing? Hope you all are doing amazingly well. Today is June, y'all. Can y'all believe it? It is June 1st. The time is flying. It doesn't wait for anyone. So anyway, I just wanted to say hi first. And guys, let's remain calm and let's just continue to pray for our world. Um, people are going crazy. People are hurting our people. We're all one, y'all. We are all one. We all bleed the same, okay? We are all one, whether people want to accept it or not. You know, we just got to learn how to come together. We need more peace in the world. We need more understanding in the world. Um, everybody come from different walks of life, different backgrounds. At the end of the day and at the end of it all, we all going to have to result to only one thing. And that's what people fail to realize. So I just wanted to say that. And um, I'm just trying to keep hope alive, even though I know... Other people may not, but I'm just going to try to do my part. Y'all, I love peace and serenity. If I have to be by myself, you know, most of my time, I'm okay with that as long as I have my peace because everybody, we're not all going to see everything the same. But one thing I know for sure, you have to respect, and that's what's wrong too. There is no respect in the world. Y'all, we got to, we got to, we got to, you got to get, you got to, you got to have respect first of all, you know, to be able to do anything. You have to. You're going to have to. But anyway, that's enough for me, right? Guys, today, guess what? We're going to be trying to make a candle. I think I promised y'all before, if one of my eyes looks sleepy, I think I have made, I got some coconut oil in there or something. It looks a little blurry or whatever. But um, yeah, we're going to try to make a candle. I'll bring you guys along for that. And guys, I hope you all, let's, let's just go ahead. I hope you guys have been um, doing your, uh, your um, y'all know what I'm talking about. I hope you've been doing this. Y'all been doing it with me? Because I've been doing it. I've been doing it, y'all. I'm real proud of myself. I mean, I've done it before. and It's nothing new because I do 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 uh, things like this. But still, like, I've really been doing it. So, yeah. And then, too, um, I got another video coming because, I'm y'all, I got rid of some stuff. And y'all probably going to be like, Sonya, why did you do that? But guess what? Time winding down, and I got to get things moving forward. And I just like everything easy. Plain and simple, easy is the way. Simple is the way. Okay? I told y'all. Living simply is what really matters. Like, really, really sad, sad and done? Yes. But anyway, yeah. I'm finishing up one. Well, actually, I finished it already. So, guys, go on Instagram. Simply underscore natural underscore black. And you will see all the uh, detox smoothies that I've been incorporating in my system, y'all. And guess what? She's glowing. She's glowing. Yes, she's glowing. That's why. That's why. Uh-huh. But anyway, guys, I'm going to come in this kitchen. And um, let me see. I'm going to set y'all down somewhere. Let's see. Can y'all see me right here? Can y'all see me right here? Okay, that's good. So, let me move my banana, mango. These are the same ones from before, y'all. I haven't used them yet. So, what we are going to do, I'm going to show you what we're going to be working with today, guys. We have just a few things. And if you remember, this is my uh, coconut, you know, my can. Hold on, let me see. I'm going to see if y'all will be able to see me. I hope you guys will be able to see me. Okay, so we have our uh, old coconut... Uh, jar that I like to buy from Walmart whenever they have it. So I'm going to take that off of here. It looks a little blurry, but I have um, since cleaned that. And let me see. I'm going to hang that right here. Don't ask me why. That's just something to do. I'll, I'm going to recycle it. So we have our jar here. And you know what, y'all? Maybe I'll take off my jacket. Let me get comfortable, okay? Because we're going to be doing something, okay? Let me put my jacket over here. And, um, let me see. Do I need more light? Is that good, y'all? Is that good? Let me see. Okay. It looks okay. So, let's get a pot out of here. I'm going to get this pot out because what we're going to do is we're going to take this, remember this ball of wax? We're going to take this wax ball. I'm going to let y'all get a good look at it. We're going to take all of this wax from all of the candles 
that I've been um, burning. Not well, a whole lot, but because I don't really buy candles like that. But we're going to take this wax ball and we're going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to put it back here and I'm going to turn it on simmer burner. Okay. And I'm going to put it on like two. We're going to let that sit. So all you need, guys, is one of these kind of looking jars. Here's the top. In case you want to put it back up and you're going to need these. Can you guys see that? This is what you're going to get from Walmart. Okay. This is what you will see. And it tells you, it actually tells you on the back how to do so. Okay. And I'll, if, I'll read it to you guys. If you really want to know, I'll read it for you. It says to make candles, you will also need 10 containers, which you can get you 10. It looks like this, but this is a top, but it says soy wax chips, uh, candle fragrance, candle colorant, and mixing, mixing sticks. And then at the bottom, it tells you how to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these out. You get four of these sticks and you get some of these little things here. I think, oh yeah, it's to hold the candle in there. So let's do that. They gave me six, but they only gave me um, four sticks. Let's see what I can do here. I think I might be able to do this. Hold on y'all. You only need one, I think one of these. So let's take, oh, they gave me, oh, it is six. Y'all thought it was four. It is six of these. You get six of these. If you can see, you get six of those. So let's take one out. And if you see, it's kind of, I probably can make it. We'll see how, um, how much wax we're going to have. So I guess you would do it like this. You're going to take this and you're going to put, can y'all see that? You're going to put, stick that in there like so. And then you're going to stick this down here like that. And you're going to pour that wax on top. So, like I said, this is too tall. I know it is. Um, I'm going to pour it in there. We're going to set it right here like so. If you guys can see. Do I need to bring y'all up more? Okay. I'm going to leave it like this until this wax burns. But in the meantime, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go inside my thing here, my stash. And I'm going to find oils that I like to put together. So let me take, oh, y'all can see. I just want to make sure y'all can see me really good. Okay. What it is that I'm doing. So I'm going to, the wax is melting and it smells so good. Y'all, it smells so good. So good. I'm excited because this is my first time. I love learning something new. I ain't got to go out and buy no more candles, y'all. Even at the Dollar Tree. I don't want to have to do that. So you know what? Let me leave this here just in case anybody wants to see that so we're still waiting on our um our candle i could have put some gorilla glue down on here to make it stick y'all i really could should i hold on y'all i think i might do that hold on one second i don't know why i cut the camera off sonia what's the going on girl so let's do this we're gonna put some gorilla glue on the bottom of that a little bit y'all see that like so and we're going to stick it down in here like that, like so, okay? Let's put our top back on before we lose some, some glue pressure. So as you can see, she's sticking right now, but I'm going to have to still, um, you know, let it sit for uh, a little bit. Okay? Let's let her sit while we're waiting on the wax. So in my collection here, let me turn this around. Oh, you're going to need clothes pants too, guys. Because, oh, you know what? I might not need no clothes pants. It all depends. This is how I would do it. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So let's just wait for the wax. So one of my fragrances that I'm going to use smells really, really good. Let me put my glasses on again, y'all. This is cedarwood, which I love. So we're going to use cedarwood. We're going to use, uh, I don't want the tea tree. Where is that one that I really like that smells so good? Oh, this is that purifying blend with all those notes in it. We're going to use that one. That smells really, really good. Let's put the keep the top right there. And then let's get... No, that's that lime. I don't want lime. This is the one. We're going to use unwind. It smells so good. Oh, my God, y'all. It's going to be smelling so good up in here. So these are the three oils that I'm going to use to put inside of our um, candle wax. Y'all, look, let me just show y'all real quick how that's melting. Uh-oh. I've never done this before. So if y'all can see that, it's melting. 
So let's keep on going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you I'm going to put you guys on pause. How about that? I'm going to put you guys on pause and then we're going to come back because that'll be melted and I can let it cool a little bit and I can put it in here. Okay? So y'all bear with me, okay? Okay, guys, we are all the way melted here. So I'm going to just let this sit. I can't believe this. Why is this wax green, y'all? That's so strange to me. That makes me feel like something's not right in there. So we're going to let this cool. But in the meantime, I went on and got me a coaster because I'm going to have to lay it actually right here with the um with the candle container because we don't want to melt our counter i mean our top here so let's put this here because you got to remember that's going to be warm and we still we have our gorilla glue sitting here for that and don't forget we might have to trim this wick off so let me get let me get the scissors just in case i'm going to use these i have i think i think this will be okay so yeah guys um yeah we're making a candle we are making a candle we making the candle so excited so excited what I'm not excited about is pouring this wax inside this jar right here. Like, seriously. Because, yeah. So, guys, we're going to let that cool, like I said. But in the meantime, I'm trying to think. Should I wait until we come back to put the wax in there? Or should I put it in there now and let it pour? Or, um, we're going to wait for a second. So, guys, I'll be back in a second, okay? And pour this wax in here. I'm nervous, but I'm not too nervous. I'm just going to, um, I let it sit for a little while. And it's got a lot of some things at the bottom that settled. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But let's go ahead. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and take our clothespins like this. So we can take it, clamp it onto the actual uh, candle. I'm going to put one on top of the other, as long as they're both making it be able to stand so it doesn't go anywhere okay so we're going to do that can y'all see that that's how that looks we're going to do it like that that is to keep it in place okay so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and pour this wax which i'm a little nervous but she's going to have to get over it because we got to get this candle together okay so let's go ahead and pour our wax y'all oh lord yes yes yeah yeah oh we got a nice amount Okay. We're going to have to put this um, in the refrigerator too, guys. So, if you guys can see that stuff in here, that's those metals, nasty metals that um, I didn't want. So, let's go over here and get a spatula. And get me a spatula. So, I can take all the wax out of here except for that nasty stuff. And if you guys couldn't see it, then I'll try to show you... Um, that just goes to show you there's a lot of things that are not good, natural, in, in candle wax. Because some of this wax is like from soy candles, guys. And then I think another candle wasn't soy. So it's probably from um, from that one. So I'll show you like this. Do you see like all these ugly metal looking things? See all that? That's nasty. That's like... Uh, some type of uh, chemical. See that? Can y'all see that real good? Okay. So we're done with that. So do y'all see already how the candle is forming? Look at that. Look, 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 look at that. See how the candle is forming because it's in the cold, the jar. Okay. Now let me bring y'all a little closer. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put my cedar wood in there. I'm going to add a couple drops. One, two, that's a quick three, four, five. That's about six, <laughs> give or take. So we got cedar wood in there. We're going to put, remember the other one? This one is the, um, blah, 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 for purifying. Has all the notes. Remember this one? Has all the notes in the back, like so. This smells really good. We're going to put some of that in there, like so. Let's put the top back on it. Oh, this smell! It smells so good in here, y'all. So super good. Make your own anytime. Okay, and this one is the unwind. So lovely. Let's put some of that in here. 
Come on. Come on. All right, what's going on? Did any come out, y'all? Did y'all see anything? One, two, three. Oh, five. Okay. So I learned something new. I have to keep it turned upside down for a minute for it to come through. Okay, so we got that. Did any drip on the side? Okay. Y'all. So let me see what I can use to kind of like stir this up a little bit. And my thing is leaning. So let's do this. Um, okay. I have something I can find. I found. Let me take this and stir it around. Before I let the candle, the candle's gonna have to go in the refrigerator, y'all, and sit, okay? Woo! Oh, that smells so good. So good. So, this is what the candle looks like, y'all, right now. We're gonna take her over to the fridge. I'm gonna let y'all come over here with me so we can walk her to the refrigerator, okay? And I'm gonna bring you guys back. See? I'm going to bring you guys back when she's done. So let's put her here just like that. And we'll wait till she's dry. Let's center her back together. And we'll cut that wick when she's dry. I'll see y'all in a minute, okay? So let's close that up. Um, Y'all, we'll be back, okay? We're going to check on that candle, okay? All right, now. Get our candle. Look at that. I put her in the fridge. Y'all seen the last. So now this is what she looks like. So we're gonna let her sit there for a moment, get room temperature. And um, yeah, that's what she looks like right now, y'all. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna remove, let me let me put y'all down and then I'll do the I'll do the stuff. And then y'all be, you know, I'll do all the uh, everything so y'all can see me. Okay, so guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, like, I can't believe this is my, this is my actual first time y'all making me a DIY candle. So just in case you don't understand, if I did not have any wax whatsoever, I could have bought a block of wax, add my own oils to the wax, stir it up like I did here, make my own, have your own fragrance. So it beats that. So we're going to take off our clothespins and we see it did our wickest. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. She's good. So... What I'm going to do, I kind of like don't want to cut it, but I'm going to have to. We're going to cut her. I'm going to cut her to a slant. We're going to cut her like right there. I can use this again, y'all, okay? I can use this again. You got to remember, she already has a wick that's going down in there. So this is what I did. So if you guys can look a little closer. I absolutely love this, guys. You want to, I mean, let me tell you the main reason. Having this, I saved this over from coconut oil jar with the with the silver top light if you would go to a famous maker store like home goods tj maxx all that stuff i ain't got i ain't doing that okay use your own containers that you use when you buy stuff like me i am live simple so i buy natural ingredient natural essentials to use for things i do so with that being said i was able to put that leftover candles from a bunch of little candles here and there inside of this container so i didn't have to go and purchase a container I can keep using this same container. I can take this, put the top on it, take this in any room. It looks very nice. It looks very minimalistic. It looks very simple and chic. You'll be able to see the color. And that's amazing, guys. The color had changed. Remember, it was like a really dark green. It's actually a light green. So, yeah. So, that's where we are right here. If you guys can see, give you a better look. That's what she's looking like. And remember, there's the candle base right there as well so yeah guys what do y'all think what do y'all think about our first diy candle so again all you're gonna need to do a diy candle guys is a jar with a lid something to set it on like i did a wood coaster very simple very chic looking you're gonna need two of these to hold your actual wood sticks on them you get these from walmart I paid $3 and some change for these. You get six. It comes with the six pieces. So, guys, even when I've used all of these, i got to remember, I can always take this out, put this piece in there. So, I'm going to be making, like, one, two. Instead of making um, six candles, I can be making a total of 12 candles because I'm going to go and get a chance. When I get a chance and I can 
put that into my, you know, I will buy a thing of wax. So that way I have it. If y'all can smell what this smells like, if y'all can actually, this smells amazing. And you're going to need scissors. And like I said, you're going to need your host of essential oils like I did use. So guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me making my own DIY candle. It just goes to show you what you can do in your own home, in your own space. You don't have to go out and purchase things. I spent $30 and change on this. I already have these things here. So, yeah. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would like for you guys to go and share my video with some family, some friends. Tell them about the channel. Simple lifestyle, simple, chic, everything. Um, in my next video, I'm going to show you guys what I have sold. I'm going to show you what somebody has gave me, which, which uh, actually made me go out and sell, made me put stuff on offer up to get some coins because that one big thing made me have to, it just made me go into, that's a whole different story. I'm going somewhere else with that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed me with this DIY candle situation. And um, I hope you guys are inspired to go make your own. If you do make your own, please come back, share it with, with me, either email it to me or whatever you can do. So yeah, guys, that is it. And um, that is my DIY candle. And if you guys are wondering, y'all want me to light it? I bet you did. I bet you did. Let's go ahead and light this baby. Okay? Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up, y'all. She's burning. She's burning. So you need one of these, too. Guys, and it makes noise. Listen. Listen very closely. Listen. You guys hear the cracking? She's burning, y'all. Oh, my gosh. So, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. So, guys, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and say goodbye. Guys, thank you for tuning in for another video with your girl, Sonia, on Simply Natural Black Life. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell everybody about the channel. Don't forget also to go on simply underscore natural underscore black and watch my uh, my uh, little pictures I've been posting of my uh, detox challenge for 10 days. And guys, I will see you in another video. Bye. I love you all so very much. Don't forget. Remember the simple things. That's what matters the most. Bye, y'all. Bye.